Hello, um, I'd like to give you a few brief words of encouragement. Um, and then what I'm going to do today is uh, just take a look at the story of Gideon, uh, just a small portion of it. Uh, a lot of you know Gideon is famous for uh, being someone who uh, lived in a time when uh, the Israelites were severely oppressed. Uh, and he was um, uh, from a very small clan, uh, from a very small tribe, uh, didn't think much of himself, but the angel of the Lord appeared to him and said, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Uh, and uh, Gideon, it made no sense to him why he would be called um, a mighty warrior, uh, or it didn't make sense to him also that the Lord is with his people. In fact, he complains um, after the angel says, the Lord is with you, mighty uh, warrior. Uh, he says, pardon me, my Lord, Gideon replied, but if the Lord is with us, why has all this happened to us? Where are all his wonders that our ancestors told us about when they said, did not the Lord bring us out of Egypt? But now the Lord has abandoned us and given us into the hands of the Midian. Uh, so Gideon's attitude does not really set him up for success here. Uh, he doubts the Lord's presence with him or with the people, and yet the Lord calls him to do a mighty work. In fact, in verse 14, and I'm in Judges chapter 6, uh, the Lord turned to him and said, Go in the strength you have and save Israel out of Midian's hands. Am I not sending you? So he's calling Gideon to this mighty task for which he's ill-equipped, but what the equipping is, is the Lord is saying to him repeatedly, the Lord is with you. He's saying, am I not with you? Uh, and so Gideon accepts the task. Gideon, Gideon uh, raises an army of 32,000 people to go against the Midianites. And he gathers this army and the Lord says to him, you have too many people. Uh, uh, if you go and... Uh, have this great victory, you're going to think that you did it yourselves. So the Lord has him, by various means, reduce the army first to, I think, 10,000 people. So he has 32,000 people. Uh, uh, and the first cut, 22,000 men left, which left 10,000 men. And then the second cut, uh, like, what, 9,700 men left, and, and Gideon was left with an army of 300 people, uh, which makes no sense militarily or logically, but with those 300, Gideon, under the Lord's hand and through the Lord's guidance, defeated the Midianites with 300 men. So, uh, the reason I think this is so essential is it really kind of shows us that our economy is different than the Lord's economy. Uh, our logic is different from the Lord's uh, uh, economy. Uh, and um, we may be living in a time, and many of us have experienced other times in our lives, where we were, in, where we were living in greatly reduced circumstances. And that's a hard place to be. It's a difficult place to be. But it's a place that the Lord can move in, show himself powerful, where we are powerless, and accomplish a great thing. So in these coming weeks, uh, uh, when we are under threat uh, from our personal physical health, uh, our economic well-being, uh, and we're kind of our lives seem to be contracting a bit. They seem to be closing in. Uh, if we trust God, if we stay open to his spirit, he will guide us through this time. And rather than moving to a time of reduced circumstance, he will expand us. We will be able to do more, not less. And one of the most wonderful things about the Lord uh, is the redemption that he ministers to us. Uh, um, how he can take uh, um, the good, the bad, the ugly of our life situation, uh, and he can redeem it. He can cause it to uh, rise up into something magnificent, um, something that uh, 
uh, results in his glory and our benefit and the benefit of the people around us. Um, I frankly see great things ahead. Um, I'm uncomfortable with some of the limitations of this particular season uh, of my life, of the life of our church community and our broader community. Uh, but I know uh, that God is with us and he will bring us through not just to survive, but to flourish uh, and to rise up with perhaps new gifts, new strength, new hope. Um, so um, I feel pretty great in the midst of this very limiting time. Uh, trusting God, uh, as I'm sure you are as well. So God bless you.